Jack Kane loves his dogs, his wife, and serving his country. This rod's messed up. The Canyon Lake native survived 15 months in Iraq. He was a gunner with the 82nd Airborne 573rd Cavalry, and it was no easy tour. He lost count of all the attacks. I can't even count, you know, uh, maybe 20. Just IEDs, that, you know, throughout the whole 15 months we were there. He suffered five concussions. We ended up getting hit by an IED, and next thing I know, we're back at the patrol base, and I'm in the medic's room, you know, waking up. Two years after getting back from Iraq, Kane found himself waking up from a blast of another kind. We were just laying on the couch one night watching Prison Break, <laughs> and I flopped out into a seizure, and the next thing I know, I woke up. I was in the back of an ambulance. Those five concussions were enough for Kane to develop traumatic brain injury and eventually epilepsy. You know, she witnessed it, and it was scary for her. So that makes it scary for me as well. TBI among veterans is a growing concern for neurologists like Dr. Jose Cavazos. He says there are thousands, maybe more, who could develop epilepsy years later because of TBI. And not just from the hits, but from the shock waves experienced from IEDs. Not only they are out there, each of them deserves to be cared at the best that we can. The VA has created special clinics throughout the country to deal with the growing number of vets developing epilepsy. But Cavasso says too many are still unaware that this could happen to them. Kane says he was one of many who thought he had dodged this major bullet. It's just a concussion, you know, thank God, you know, but you know, it doesn't always turn out to be just, just a concussion because you get little extras like epilepsy or <laughs> He says he now knows there's help and wants to warn wounded warriors. They should definitely check, to see, you know, go get an MRI, check to see if there's any kind of bruising or anything on your brain. So that way you're aware that it is possible that you may become epileptic from it. Sophie Rinko on Fox News at 9.